Good morning. It's day two and we're at sea. Today has already been quite an adventure. I woke up early and started reading my Bible. My mom was sound asleep. I didn't want to get up to wake her, so I kept in my bed and just read my Bible. Finally, at 8.30, my mom got up, she took a shower, and she was going to go to breakfast. I thought that was a great idea. I was going to join her, but I had a lot of things to do. I was running my IV nutrition called TPN. I needed to disconnect that because I need to change, and you can't change when the TPN is connected because you can't get that IV line through all your clothing. So I needed to disconnect my TPN, and then also my lungs have been extremely dehydrated. Yesterday I was only on my heated humidifier for part of the day because we were traveling, and then the day before we were traveling in the airplane and I couldn't run my heated humidifier. So I was, I was breathing very cold, dry air, and the cold, dry air dries up all the mucus in my lungs and it makes it very difficult to breathe. Now that I've been connected to my heated humidifier, my lungs are starting to rehydrate and all that mucus that's in my lungs is getting hydrated and it's coming up and blocking my tracheostomy tube. So I really needed to run my nebulizer. My nebulizer runs saline through and helps hydrate my lungs and also breaks up the mucus so I can, I can get rid of the mucus that's in my airways. I, need to do that. I needed to do that very badly this morning because I was having a lot of trouble breathing. So I needed to do that and my nebulizer runs 15 minutes plus I needed to disconnect my TPN, plus I needed to change, and I had a lot of things to do. So I told my mom, go to breakfast, I'll meet you down there. So I was doing all my, ta my tasks and everything, and suddenly I look at the clock and it's 9.18. Breakfast only goes till 9.30, and we are at the front of the ship, and breakfast is at the back of the ship. <laughs> and I'm going, oh, no. So I quick, grab my ventilator and hop on my scooter. Now this is the part of my morning where I call it, it's a jackrabbit morning because on my scooter I have a couple settings. You have a dial which takes the scooter and you can go all the way to the turtle, which the turtle is very, very slow. So you're sitting there, come on, come on. A one-year-old can probably walk faster than the turtle speed on my scooter. But then you can crank it all the way up to Jackrabbit. And let me explain to you how Jackrabbit goes. You've seen a Jackrabbit and it goes zoop. Well, that's what the scooter does on Jackrabbit. You put it in a Jackrabbit and go ah! It's kind of like being on a roller coaster. It goes really fast. So I was like, it's a Jackrabbit morning. Jackrabbit, here we go. I'm going as fast as I can and people are going it's morning and we're walking slow and I'm trying to dodge through the people and then people just stop in front of you and you gotta go Aah! don't worry I didn't hit anybody I didn't injure anybody <laughs> but I made it to breakfast right about 9 30 and I jumped off my scooter and I got my tea and I had a little bit of fruit this morning I was very excited. I couldn't find my mom. There were so many people and I was going, I don't want to try to find her. I'm just going to sit right here. There was a spot that was really, really close to where my scooter was. So I just sat there with my food and was like, oh, I made it. And I was drinking my tea and I'm going, oh, okay, wake up. Okay, wake up. I had several cups of tea and I was done about 10 o'clock. And at 10 o'clock, I saw they were finally putting the food away because it had been so busy. There were lines and lines of people this morning. And I was a little bit bummed because I had rushed to make it down to the buffet by 9.30. And I could have taken my time because <laughs> they didn't put things away until about 9.50, 9.55. 10 o'clock is when they really were starting to clean up everything. But I was grateful. I made it. And I made it to breakfast on time. But I never found my mom. And so we're still missing each other. <laughs> but don't worry, there is a behind the scenes tour of the galley. The galley is the kitchen area of the ship. So I'm going to go to that because that sounds very exciting. They explain how they prepare the food and there's 
several thousand people on this ship and how do they prepare food for so many people. I'm going to go to that and my mom said she was also going to that so I'm sure we can find each other and be reunited. Ah, I'm sure it'd be grand. So that's a bit of an update. Bye for now. The galley tour started in the main dining hall. The head chefs introduced themselves and told a little bit about their experiences. The head chef has been with Celebrity for nine years and seemed to be very excited to have the honor of being the head chef. Next, we went to the galley. This is Amir. He will be our tour guide. He explained this is where all the food is prepared for the ship. In the kitchen, there are escalators. The galley is located on the third floor. The main restaurant is located on the fourth and fifth floors. The wait staff has to take escalators to deliver the food up from the galley. Next up is the salad area. These employees are preparing salads which will be served during supper this evening. There will be approximately 1,000 salads served at tonight's dinner service. The next section is the ice cream machines. Celebrity makes their own ice cream from scratch. All ice cream served on this ship is made in these ice cream machines. Continuing on, we enter the dessert preparation area. Inside these coolers, there are all sorts of desserts which include special occasion treats such as anniversary cakes, chocolate covered strawberries, and birthday cakes. The employees to the right are creating delicious desserts for a vow renewal party which will take place tonight after supper. Next up was the dishwashing station. Our tour guide Amir tells us how important it is to properly clean dishes. It takes 8 minutes for a dish to be washed and dried. On the right, the man is cleaning glasses from the poolside bar. Amir introduces us to one of his colleagues who is also a chef. He is from the Philippines. The red bins are for broken glass. The employees try to be very careful, but accidents happen. The broken glass dishes are placed in these red bins. Continuing on, we're going through a very tight corridor, which is not meant for a scooter. To maneuver through this, I have a hard time trying to make the very tight corner. I have to back up and realign myself. Then there are some fierce speed bumps which almost knock me and my camera to the ground. The next area is where they do the general food preparation. There is soup cooking in the back. These employees are happy to show me some fresh chicken wings which are going to be delivered up to the buffet just in time for the start of the lunch service. Next up is the baking area. This is where all the fresh bread is made. The only breads which are not made on board the ship are the gluten-free breads and the hamburger buns used at the poolside grill. Those are purchased and stored in the freezer until they are needed. And lastly, there are displays of some amazing artwork some of the chefs created from various fruits. They are exquisite creations and display the chef's incredible talents. The galley tour ends in one of the specialty restaurants called Cuisine. This is such a unique restaurant. On the tables, there are projected animations which move and dance around. If I could eat a regular diet, I would love to eat here. Since it is a specialty restaurant, there is a surcharge to eat here. Taking a closer look, there are carrots, bottles of champagne, avocados, and ice cream cones which dance around. I am simply enchanted by this display. Good evening! We're at the end of day two and it has been an exciting day. I went to the galley tour and had a lot of fun learning all about the kitchen and how they prepare various food. After the kitchen tour, I came back to the room to rest. A short while later, my mom appeared. I thought I would see her on the galley tour, but I didn't see her. But there were so many people, I wasn't sure if she was or was not there. She told me she did not go to the galley tour. Instead, they had a really fascinating presentation about the Panama Canal. The Panama Canal is a future destination on this cruise, so she learned all about that, and she was very excited to tell me everything she learned. She sounded like she had a wonderful time. I rested, and my mom went to lunch. After lunch, my mom went to a blackjack tournament. I'm sorry to report she did not win. 
Then after lunch, it was time for deal or no deal. I went up to do deal or no deal because my mom wasn't sure if she was going to make it back in time. She had already pre-bought the cards, so I was there with the cards. But I was so thankful because the blackjack tournament did not last that long. She came to deal or no deal before it even started. I gave her the cards and happily came back to our room and took a nap because I was so, so tired. <laughs> After taking a nap, I woke up and I got dressed up for chic night. Hey! <laughs> Tonight was chic night. It was the first chic night. There's actually two chic nights on this cruise. So I got dressed up and my mom and I went down to, to get supper. Unfortunately, it did not go well. I had pre-ordered my food because I have a restricted diet and they couldn't find my order. So my mom had to wait and wait and wait for her food and it took a very long time and I felt really bad for her. But finally our food arrived and she gobbled it down. So of course I tried to take another photo of her beautifully prepared food and she was already eating. <laughs> But she did pause to let me get a photo of her food. She said it was absolutely delicious. Then during supper, they handed each woman a rose. Oh, tonight is the first of two chic nights. We're supposed to dress up and look really pretty. And then they rewarded us and gave us beautiful roses. Tonight also, they're doing a vow renewal service. My mom kept hearing this and she kept telling me they're doing a vowel renewal service. And I said, Mama, no, it's vow. And she kept saying, yes, vowel. <laughs> so I kept teasing her that people were going to renew their vowels, their A's, their E's, their I's, their O's and U's, and sometimes Y. So they're doing that tonight on Chic Night. My mom has gone to a performance. There are three men who are singing my Michael Buble songs. I was really, really tired, so I decided to come back here, rest, and get ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow is our very first port day. We're going to Grand Cayman Island. I am so excited. I've never been there before. We're going to do a panorama motor coach tour, and so that should be wonderful. I should be able to sit back in the, in the bus and just, oh, everything will roll by my window and I shouldn't have to get on and off the bus which that's the hope because I am so tired and I just want to sit down relax and enjoy the sights and sounds of Grand Cayman. So that's been my day. I hope you had a wonderful time. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. Thank you so much. We'll see you again. Bye bye. Stay tuned to next week. It is day three and we go to Grand Cayman Island. We tour the island go to hell, visit the devil, and then I nearly fall overboard trying to transfer between the tender boat and the cruise ship. What an adventure.